All right, welcome to moving vlog number five, I think we're on. So my cousin and my second cousin are in town right now. They actually just ran to the grocery store. I think now we're actually gonna run over to Target or Home Goods or something, because that's what they wanna do. We're gonna be going to Ikea at some point, so I have to get the shelves for this thing at some point so I can finish putting away the office stuff. And then also just a couple other like random things from Ikea. I think probably tomorrow, wait, is tomorrow the third? It's July 3rd, a bad idea. Go to Ikea. Still have my spray tan on. It's actually only been like a day since I ended number four. So I hope you guys are enjoying the moving vlogs. If you are, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Cadence's <laughs> okay, first time in Ikea ever. Are you vlogging? Yeah. <laughs> she really? <laughs> yeah, that's like farmhousey. I like that too. This one looks really good. I've seen HelloFresh before and it looks good. Yeah. You have? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're good. There's a flatbread too. What do you do? Flatbread. Oh, that's cool. You can recycle the ice packs. You cut a corner, Ooh. empty it into the trash, and then recycle the plastic. Actually, that would feel so good to lay on. All right, so it's actually 7 a.m. I feel like I'm doing a foundation check-in right now. 7 a.m. and I'm actually about to make a HelloFresh meal right now because my cousins are still sleeping. We're gonna go do a few things, so I just wanna have dinner like ready for later. So I'm gonna make this gnocchi, which looks so freaking good. If you've never heard of HelloFresh, they're like a meal delivery service. I love that they give you these recipe cards because they're one, super pretty. I'm a visual person, so I feel like seeing instructions this way is just way easier. And they just give you step-by-step -step instructions, super easy. Here's the bag of ingredients. So I'm gonna do the veggies right now. I think my mushrooms are done. I'm about to pop the green beans in. We actually just blanch them, it says, so I'm just gonna throw them in the boiling water for a few minutes. I just put on a face mask, so we're getting official here. By the way, Hellfresh is great if you're like not a natural chef. I am not. I need to follow recipes and things. I'm not one of those people that can just throw like 10 ingredients together and it magically tastes good. And if you're also super busy, most of them don't take more than 30 minutes. So even if you're doing what I'm doing right now and like prepping for another meal, I could technically, if it was just me, I mean, my cousins will be eating this one, but if it was just me, I could technically have like a few meals from this one meal. All the meals are under 10 bucks each, so cheaper than going out. You can also skip meals, so if you're going to be out of town or whatever, you can just choose when you want them delivered to your door, and you can skip a meal if you're going to be gone or whatever. Let's blanch these bad boys. Okay, blanch away. Ooh, that looks so good. Oops. <laughs> Professional. This little strainer from Daiso, and it's actually great because it's super light and it's tiny. And I almost always choose the veggie box for HelloFresh, but they also have a classic one and a family one. So if you need more or like bigger portions, you can get the family size too. Okay, I decided I'm actually eating gnocchi for breakfast because it sounds like a great life decision right now. It smells so freaking amazing. I need this in my stomach right now. And then I have all this for later if they want some or for leftovers, but that's a good like couple more meals right there. I don't know why this lemon is looking like white on camera, but I'm gonna give this a squirt. Taste test. Ooh, this one looks so nice and browned. Cheers. Oh, I can't even open my mouth with this face mask. Oh, that's good. Gnocchi for breakfast, not a bad thing. Not a bad thing, you should try it. So thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring my Noki breakfast this morning. If you guys wanna check out HelloFresh, I'll have the code down below, but it's the table 30. We'll give you $30 off your first week of HelloFresh delivery. So I'll have all the info down below, but HelloFresh just makes it super easy for me to eat things and cook. This is weirdly good for breakfast. I finally bit the bullet and ordered an espresso. I've been like procrastinating ordering these for forever. But I also found this thing off of Amazon to hold them. I'll link it down below. 
but I like how you can actually like see them in there and I feel like it looks just kind of cute on here. But I haven't used this in forever because I ran out of the cups. So I just got two, focus, two of the limited edition ones. No idea. I don't know how any of these taste. I literally just picked the strongest ones basically. But this machine is the, you have to get the cups that look like this. And I realized the smaller ones are the ones that have like less water. So you'll just get like a straight shot. All right, so it's about a day later. I am sick again, <laughs> so ignore the voice, but it's actually the night before I leave for San Diego now. So my cousins have left. We actually got so much done the last day they were here, so I wanted to show you guys. I kind of showed you like clips of organizing-ish the makeup things, but everything is in here now. My filming setup back here is not done at all. I need to hang things on the wall, and I filmed my first video in here, the first impressions video, which I think you guys have already seen by the time this goes up, and the lighting looked horrible, so I need to majorly kind of like work that out and figure out the lighting when I get back here after San Diego. I'll probably do a couple more like living room ones until I get this down, but let me show you this. So this isn't like 100% done yet. Over here, this drawer, I just put lashes over here, primers, and just put the labels outside of here so it's easier to see and I know it's in here. Up there, I actually have like extra space, so that's good. Backups, empties, things to try. I have kind of like my most used and everyday drawers right there and I can just like pull these out when I want to do my makeup. I need to hang this. I don't think I ever showed you guys this. Megan, the person who made my merch designs from Freak Fly Designs, I'll have her Instagram link down below, but she actually sent me the original version of the artwork, which is awesome. So I need to get a frame so I can frame this and like hang it in here. Check out her shop. She has really cool t-shirts and stuff too that she sells. I have my two giveaway bins. This is where I put PR and stuff that I'm gonna be doing giveaways for. And then I have my donate bin down here. So this is stuff that gets given to Project Beauty Share. Camera stuff, I'm gonna probably be moving from here, but that's like random things I have to film. These are more PR boxes, giveaway stuff. I just put this in here because I'm gonna be gone, so I just want my camera like out of the way. So this whole row is foundation plus toothpaste. Don't know what that's doing there. These are kind of like my most used ones right now or ones I'm kind of currently trying. These are ones that I'm gonna be reviewing. The Flush Stick Foundation is gonna be coming. Got a lot of requests from this, this one. Dior Backstage, the new L'Oreal Stick Foundation, and the Revlon Full Cover. Just did this one. And then I just have my usual bins of foundations there. Eyeshadow palettes are all in here. I still need to organize these. And then I made this drawer into travel and gifts. I am someone who like collects gifts for people so that when it's their birthday, I already have the gift. You know what I'm saying? And then all of my like travel makeup stuff and travel size products up there. So that's actually perfect because I don't really need that all the time. When I do need it, I'll just get a stool and like pull out the drawer. Extra camera bulbs, things like that up there. I don't even know what's in there. I think hair products and don't know what's in that one either. This stuff is just like pushed out of the way right now so that I could pack and everything. But that's the gist of it so far. Like I said, this isn't done at all. I'm gonna add stuff to my desk and add stuff to the wall. And I need to figure out just how I'm gonna film with the light in here. And if you're thinking about getting the pack system, either for, I don't know, makeup or wardrobe, actual clothes things, like what they're made for. Whoops. So far, I really like them. They're made pretty well. I'm really happy with how they look. I feel like once I get new knobs on here, they'll look even better. And I've seen people do really cool things with these too. I have my door right there, but if you had them against like a wall tight in there, you could actually build in a thing up here to make it look like they're built-ins, which could be really cool. So if you don't wanna do like a built-in closet, but you wanna make it look like you have one, you, even if you don't wanna pay to like actually build things, you could even just add like plywood or some kind of like cheap wood up there and then paint it the same color to make it look like it's in the wall, if that makes sense. But I do have a ton of storage still up there. So I might get some like white containers for up there if I need more storage. I need to clean up this kitchen right now. Gotta take out the trash, do the dishes, all that fun stuff before you leave for a trip. It's 10.30 p.m. right now. My little cousin is obsessed with uh, putty, so she made me this silly putty. So cute. It smells like blueberry. It looks so good in here. I'm back with I, Carrie. Uh, Look at that haircut. Oh my gosh, you're so freaking cute. <laughs> Carrie redid her space in here and it looks so good. So I'm about to get my permanent brows touched up. So here's a before. So it's been two years. Two years. That's crazy. I know. So this is after two years. I have nothing on them right now. I'm shocked. 
that they <laughs> don't you think they like they they're still on things. yeah they're still totally on like the color's a little bit faded but they're on that's amazing so we're just gonna touch them up i haven't been i think i only did one touch up right we did two or two oh seconds. two yeah the normal two did we meet one more time after that i don't think so oh maybe didn't we get another layer because we went thicker Oh yeah, because I think we did the shape. layer on the thicker part. Yeah. I'll, I'll get your file on check. Also, I really need to pluck my eyebrows, so. <laughs> What's new? Wow, so fashionable. So here's the after of the brows. Carrie killed it, as per usual. They look so good. So we added a little bit more arch on this side and a little bit on this side too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, made them like a little bit more full. And the color fades, like it'll go a couple shades lighter. So it'll keep lightening, so this isn't the color it's gonna be, it'll be a little bit lighter. It always looks so cool right after you get them done, you can see like the yeah. strokes. Yay, thank you. <laughs> Are you a model boy? Are you a model boy? Look at this guy. <gasps> Look at the butt. All right, so here's what my brows look like. We're about to go to dinner. I just put on a tiny bit of like the Lancome foundation and then blush bronzer highlight and just like touched up my mascara but you can't really put on like full-on makeup when you get your brows done for the first day again they're gonna lighten quite a bit so they're not gonna be like this intense and this dark but i love the shape we basically just darkened it a little bit and kind of like touched it up and filled it in more so i'm at home by the way i don't know if i said that but i'm in san diego we're about to go get some mexican food and i need to finish up a vlog tonight long story short my family that was supposed to come down and be here with us this week couldn't make it because of like car issues and stuff so i'm actually coming back here in a few weeks and they're also coming in a few weeks so we're gonna do that whole thing then mind frame can't even tell okay i just went to cvs because they have the best drug stores in southern california ever 50 bazillion times better than seattle so anytime i'm home i always like to go to the drugstore my mom was also in Trader Joe's, so I just wanted to kill time. This is actually super weird because I used to film when I first started my YouTube channel. I used to film right in that corner in my parents' house. So if you go back and see some of my videos, I think you can see that thing in the background. So CVS is a ripoff unless you coupon the shit out of it. So that's what I do. You can work the extra buck system. So basically what you do is there's manufacturer's coupons and then extra bucks. And I feel like my eyebrows look really intense right now. They're going to fade a lot and I'm not wearing eye makeup. But anyways, I didn't have any manufacturer's coupons this time because I didn't know I was going to be going there. But so when you're shopping, look at the signs to see what is going to give you extra bucks and how much and everything. And then you can split up the transactions so that you can actually use that amount of money on your next transaction. And then you can keep doing that as many times as you want. So theoretically, like if you got $10 extra bucks from something, you could get something completely free if you split up that transaction and it was at least $10. So I actually was only planning on doing two transactions and then I got a bunch of coupons that I could actually use on stuff that I needed. Then I ended up going back in the store and doing a third transaction. <laughs> so I needed another one of my Physicians Formula powders. Since I've been using the Made Cheer powder for underneath my eyes, I go with the shade Translucent Light for the other powder because it just like makes it a good color so it's not too light. I picked up two nail polishes. These were buy one, get one half off by Sally Hansen. This is in the shade Tickled Pink. It's like a super light baby pink shade. And then White On. I'm always looking for a good like super opaque white, which I don't own yet. So I'm going to try one of these today because these nails need to go. Then I picked up this new Wet n Wild Color Icon Limited Edition Blush. It's in the shade Don't Flutter Yourself. This looks really pretty. It's like a shimmery baby pink kind of shade. I got this two NYX things because I keep freaking saying I need to pick up the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk again, so I finally did it. This I used to always use for my waterline or just to like prime my eyes, so I want to try it out again. Just a super opaque white liner. This I'm really curious about. As soon as I saw this, I thought of the Tatcha Primer, so I think I'm gonna do like a side-by-side -side comparison video where I try out the Tatcha Primer versus this one. I split it up and got like six bucks or whatever it was off of the next stuff. And I also got this, which I've never heard of this brand. It's called Ruby Kisses All Over Glow. This is their bronzing powder. It looks like a super glowy bronzer, but the shade looked kind of promising. This was only a couple bucks. Okay, we'll see. So then I left and looked at the extra bucks and then went back in because they had $2 off CVS brand baby wipes and I use baby wipes to clean down like my makeup station and wipe off any swatches and stuff. So I went and got these cucumber baby wipes. So these were basically like a dollar less after the two bucks. 
And then I had a $3 extra buck off any Neutrogena product, any Neutrogena face product. So I got this to the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Overnight Gel Mask because it has hyaluronic acid in it. But this was $3.99, so I basically got it for $0.99 because I got 3 bucks extra bucks or 3 bucks off. And then I had a $5 extra bucks so I could use five dollars on anything so I just got more of these this is what I always tie up my hair with I have one in right now these are the Invisibobbles these are awesome if you have thick hair or hair that just like doesn't hold well with ponytails or your ponytails always break so I think these were like $6.99 so I got them for $1.99 somehow when he ran it through I only paid $1.50 for so he said something like the, the $5 one might have ran through twice. Yeah, he gave me the $5 extra bucks twice, but he was totally fine with it, so. So I ended up only paying $1.51 right there. Hell yeah. Oh, I also got this thing, which is a freeze pack. It says it gets colder than ice, so I wanted to try this out for my neck and to see how it is. It's reusable, so you just throw it in the freezer like an ice pack. But that's everything I picked up. That's basically how I coupon slash use like the reward system at CVS for the extra bucks. But we don't really have that many CVSs in Seattle. And I don't go to the drugstores a whole lot in Seattle because they're pretty shitty. So you can get really good deals though at drugstores if you buy stuff when you don't need it. Like if it's products that you're gonna use and buy anyways, but if you don't need it in the moment, but it's on sale and you can use stack with the coupon or get extra bucks, that's when you save money. Don't buy something when you desperately need it because then you have to buy it at that price. Like if I know I'm running low on toothpaste or whatever and there's a sale on the toothpaste and you can use extra bucks or a coupon, that's the time to buy it and then just save it and you have it and you save money. So I used to always coupon. I actually have a few really old videos about couponing. I used to have a binder because it was intense. But that's how I saved a lot of money in college and that's how I also bought a lot of my first makeup. You can buy manufacturer's coupons on eBay. There's different blogs and stuff that would break down the really good ones and like the way to save, but you could buy them in bulk and then basically get like a shit ton of free makeup at the drugstore and just use them. Some of them you can use in the same transactions. You can learn all about that stuff on different blogs and stuff. It's really interesting, I think. Probably not really interesting for the majority of the population. I am going to edit the vlog you guys are seeing right now. So I'm gonna wrap it up here, but I hope you guys enjoyed this next vlog. And this one was kind of like a mix of random things, but I've been really liking making moving vlogs. So I'm glad you guys are liking watching them. Don't forget, I'll have the link for HelloFresh down below in the description box. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.